peace love light wisdom discernment guidance and blessings beautiful souls in this world i don't know so we are not of this world cool be a day you don't know the thing are ready you know sometimes we think that when things don't go our way it's just the end of the world sometimes we think that okay because i plant this like i sat down and i planned it the bible say write the vision down make it plain right 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 i sat down and i planned this but it did not fall through the way that i envisioned it to the way that i wrote it down to sometimes we get angry when that happens because we're like well you know i put hard-earned time and i invested time and sweat and money and all these things into this thing right here that's a sign it's a sign to let you know to slow down it's a sign to let you know it's obvious that that may not have been God's will for your life, right? God is not going to play around with his will. That's one thing he's not going to do. He's not going to play around with his will. He's not going to confuse you when it comes to his will. Father is not the author of confusion. Now, someone did bring this to my attention. When I say father, I'm not subjecting Christ to a gender. Not Christ, father, like God. I'm not subjecting God to a gender, okay? He's father to me. Actually, he's everything to me, okay? He's my everything, everything. But I'm not subjecting him to a gender because, <coughs> ooh, excuse me, because as I said, he's literally everything. But in my life, in addition to being everything, he's my father. Like, he's my father. Okay, I, I don't know how to explain that to you, and I mean, I'm not obligated to, but he's just literally my father and also my everything. He's my mother too. You understand? He's my sister, my brother. He's everything to me. But I address him as father. I address him as Abba because he's my daddy. So, anywho, sometimes his will for our life is not the plan that we envision for our life. Now, once you sit still and then surrender, okay? You surrender and you repent and you literally give him your everything. You write the plan, yeah. This is, you say, Father, this is my vision. Like, here you go. Do what you will with it. And then whatever happens after you do that, don't be upset. Count it pure joy. Count it pure joy that you are literally going more and more and deeper and more anchored into his will will okay living outside of god's will is very dangerous it is very dangerous and that's somewhere i do not want to be i've been there for a long time in my life almost almost all of my life i've been there and let me tell you it's not somewhere you want to be so get into his will and be at peace and okay with his with his will because he will definitely give you the desires of your heart <laughs> while changing your desires right into his <laughs> i love you so much the world is I fight for sin Anything opposite that fight that I can't give up